JHS pedals and we want to introduce to you the Panther Analog Delay. In this brief and focused overview, we're going to take a look at what the Panther offers you as a player and also explain how in a market flooded with delay and other time-based effects, the Panther stands apart in its tone, features, and its technology. The Panther offers an all analog delay path that utilizes the 3205 Bucket Brigade chipset. In the Panther you have an available one second of delay time. The built-in modulation of the Panther has a depth knob and a speed knob that work only on the delayed signal. Unlike other analog delays that have this, the Panther's modulation works with the tap tempo enabled. It also has a dedicated LED for showing you the speed of the modulation at a glance. The ratio control allows you to choose from quarter notes, dotted eighth, eighth notes and triplet divisions for the delay repeats. The effects loop allows you to place any effect or chain of effects on the delayed signal only. This allows for endless textures, tones, and experimenting within the framework of the Panther Delay. Here we have the ability to use an expression control pedal. It's user programmable for the use of the ratio knob, mod depth, mod speed, or the speed knob. We chose to leave the feedback and mix knobs out of the assignability to keep the integrity of an all analog signal path. It's easy to program this. With a tip ring sleeve expression pedal plugged into the expression jack, simply hold the tap foot switch down for three seconds you'll see the lights flash entering into program mode. Once the lights are flashing, turn the knob that you want the expression pedal to control and then hit the tap switch. Your setting is saved. Another feature is the truly isolated and buffered dry output jack. This allows you to create a stereo field between two amps. Let's take a look at the knobs. First we have the ratio control, which is broken into four sections. Think of it as a pie with four slices. Next is the modulation depth, the modulation speed, then we have the delay time or the delay speed and this works in seamless conjunction with the tap tempo foot switch. Next is the delay level or the delay mix. And then last we have the feedback or the repeats. Let's look at the unique control called the chirp switch. This switch allows you to choose between a brighter, more chirpy delay tone reminiscent of the Vintage Boss DM2 or the Wayhuge AP1 when it's in the down position. In the up position, the Panther takes on a more deluxe Memory Man vibe as it darkens the repeats and gives a more in the background style of ambience and feel. Now let's look at the foot switches. First we have the tap tempo switch. This allows you to tap in the time with your foot. Second is the effects loop on and off. This turns off the effects loop send and return. Third we have the on and off true bypass disengagement of the Panther Delay. The tap tempo control allows you to tap in the time or the beat that you want the delay to have. The Panther has an unbelievably solid and dead-on tap engine that doesn't fall off the beat like other tap tempo controlled units on the market.
Panther runs at a standard center negative 9 volts, 100 milliamps. For a delay of this stature, this is not a common thing. Most delays in this category require uncommon voltage and heavy milliamp requirements. With the Panther, you can use a standard slot on your Pedal Power 2 Plus or any other standard 9 volt effect pedal supply. Let's look at the jacks. First we have the tap in and out. This can be used to hook up an external tap tempo control like the Boss FSU5 or you can slave another tap tempo control pedal like a Boss DD5, a DD20 or anything with a tap tempo jack. Inside the casing is a small mini toggle that allows you to change the polarity of the tap jack. The down position is a normal standard tap polarity while the up position is what we call boss mode. This allows perfect syncing with boss pedals and others in their polarity. Second we have the expression control. Third is the instrument input. Fourth is the effects loop send. This goes to the input of the effect or the effects that you want in the delayed signal. Fifth is the effects loop return. This goes to the output of the effect or the effects that you want on that signal. Sixth is the affected output. This is the normal output of the delay. Seventh is the buffered dryout, an always clean and buffered signal.